what is up guys i have something for you guys today <clears throat> man i'm i'm so excited i don't even know how i'm gonna do this because i've never done anything like this before but we're gonna learn today baby we're gonna learn today so what i just picked up guys Woo! here we go oh oh we're gonna unbox this together guys i haven't even opened it yet lawrence active target yes so quick little funny story though i was just you know browsing i guess well actually it all started with bass pro shops emailing me saying my credit <laughs> My credit limit <laughs> was higher. They increased my credit limit, and I knew I was in trouble. Um, but, so I just, you know, happened to look. I went to look. I was like, there's no way. I mean, these things have been sold out. You can't get them anywhere. There's no way. I just looked. Uh, of course, it said, you know, not in stores. But what I noticed that it didn't say is, you know, out of stock in store, out of stock online, no availability. I didn't, say, I didn't see any of that. So I was like, you know what? whatever i'm just gonna try it um see what happens <laughs> because uh, a while back they had put um, a trolling motor up online for like 200 bucks and it was the fortrex so obviously we all know the fortrex is not 200 bucks so everybody was ordering them i tried to order one um and then they sent an email saying you know the order's canceled blah 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 blah. it was a mistake i thought that was going to be kind of the similarity here but with just not having any in stock um so i put the order in it went through my heart started <laughs> beating out of my chest and i i didn't even know how to act um and two days later here we are it's here right in front of me uh man this is like i don't, I don't know how to feel right now I'm, I'm so excited i can't even put it to words of how excited i am uh to try this um it runs a pretty penny so uh Let's see how this works. We're gonna unbox it though, guys, so let's do this. All right, guys, so let's open this bad boy up. See what we got inside. Just comes in that little sleeve. And flip this down. Let me try to get over it a little bit. Do got our insulation manual right here. Some other warranty stuff. Here's our power supply right here, guys. This is what runs it all. So we got you know the sonar port, got of course the Ethernet port, and then the power port right there. So let's set that off to the side. And here she is. Oh, let's take this out first, then, I guess. This is just all the hardware. We got the mount, another part of the mount. Uh, some pretty thick cable. It's the first thing I, you know, can feel that I notice. Pretty thick cable. So here she is guys, a little dusty, probably been sitting in the box waiting for me for a long time. Um, that right here is for, you know, temperature. Uh, so we would have down, right? So that will be down and I'm, I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna try to put a good video together of insulation. I've never installed anything like this. Um, so this is my first, but from what I'm understanding, you know, we got down, that's forward and then out would be you know the scalp mode so kind of seeing everything um you know at a pretty good angle and then down uh you know obviously right below you i think the one i'm going to use the most is forward and that's just because you can also see the structure pretty good on the forward one from the videos that i've seen but we're gonna obviously start taking some things apart up there um and figure out where we're gonna place the box. Obviously you wanna place it somewhere, you know, pretty dry. So I'm thinking it might go under, right under here. Okay guys, so, <clears throat> excuse me. 
first thing we're gonna do is get the bracket mounted onto the shaft of the trolling motor, right? So let's get that on there. What you want to do from you know just watching a bunch of videos and uh, doing some research, I found that you want to go about a fist up, about a fist up on the shaft right there. Um, and also when you're installing, make sure that this bracket this arm is facing up so you got the teeth on this side right here you got the teeth right here and that arms at that 45 degree angle you got to make sure it's like that because if it's the other way around and you go to run power you're going to get nothing and then you're going to think it's a piece of crap but uh get these in here tighten them up a little bit you don't want to over tighten them either because uh, it has like these rubber pieces on the inside you can't see them now but they're right in there um and like that's not even close to fully tightening like that ain't going anywhere right there so uh, I want to tighten it up just a little bit more um, definitely don't want to over tighten it though let's get these in here tighten that one and tighten go about half a turn here boom half a turn there boom under here Boom and boom. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get this transducer on here. So uh, you want to line these teeth up, obviously. Um, it comes with, and that little, there's a little box in here. It comes with a washer, uh, this little knob here, and this kind of rubber washer here. Uh, so we're going to line that up. And lock her in place just like this. Uh, just like that. Lock that in, and then I'm actually gonna flip this right here for what we gotta do next and run the wiring. So I'm just gonna flip it like this. Uh, you want that temperature sensor right there, you want that facing up. Uh, so we're just gonna turn it for a little bit. <clears throat> and then also, guys, for those of you who are running the Lowrance Ghost, um, because obviously this will work with you know other other trolling motors as well but you do want to have your motor stowed how you're gonna stow it all the time right so me i like to stow mine on the inside um, a lot of people a lot of people like to go on the other way but especially for those of you who use covers for your boat um, it's a lot easier to cover it like this obviously with the prop being on the inside versus the outside and the cover not fitting well um there is a setting, uh, and I'm sure I'll make a video on that when I'm on the water testing this thing out. You can set your unit. I have the HDS Live 9 right here. Set your unit to where every time you pull this out, uh, for those of you who do have the Lowrance Ghost trolling motor, uh, you know if your trolling motor is kind of tilted a little bit to each way when you go to stow the, the, you know, the whole trolling motor, um, it'll turn to whichever way it's closest to. But there's a setting on your unit that you can go into, dive in there, and I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm not exactly 100% sure on how to get there, but I'll figure it out and share it with you guys um, to where it stows like this way the entire time, every time you lift it up, no matter which way the trolling motor's face. So uh, that's a really good tip to, to keep in mind. Uh, we're gonna keep diving in here, guys. We're going to obviously run the wire. Um, I'm most likely going to, a lot of people use zip ties, but I found that you know zip ties and thick wires and stuff like this, it still has that, that uh, room so it's gonna look ugly but I'm thinking about going with electrical tape uh, I may have to replace it you know down the road sometime but definitely uh, gonna try some things out here and, and get this baby on here let's go <clears throat> okay guys so I am gonna go the electrical tape route um, you do want to leave some slack right here give it some leeway to uh, be able to you know maneuver while you're spinning the the trolling motor uh, You know while you're while you're moving the trolling motor around and then also you want to do that same thing up here Where it actually moves at uh, so you want to give it some room, but we want this to be pretty nice and tight um, Give that thing some room Let it be able to maneuver around uh, and We're just gonna keep going all the way around and like I said yeah obviously I will have to replace this down the road but it's it's not it's not the end of the world so uh, I don't mind so I'm gonna get this up we're gonna go all the way up and then we're gonna leave uh, some slack up here too um, and then we're gonna run it to where 
the power and everything's gonna go guys so let's keep going okay guys so this is what we're looking like so far make sure you leave these gaps guys because you do want to uh, give it that ability to still pivot and you know not mess everything up but I think you know it doesn't look too messy it actually looks pretty clean um, and I think we're doing pretty good here let's keep on going guys okay guys quick little <laughs> update man I was stressing so I was trying to wire everything right so we we're getting the wires going in and I lost power and I started freaking out didn't know what it was tried you know putting it back to how it was before nothing no power no power no power and I really try to do these things by myself um, and I try to teach myself using videos but when it comes to that point I call my big brother I am being 110% honest and there he is what I have no idea what that whole cutting thing is, but let's do the job. <laughs> this is spade. <laughs> spade to go right through it. Okay. Cool. My garage is in, I mean, my back thing is in disarray because I cleaned out my garage. That's all right. Well, that's so the man of the show, y'all. So, what we're going to do now, well, I'm not going to have this right here. We're going to run these wires, go through there. We're gonna mount our module right in here. Call me if you need me. All right, thank you. So yeah, so I'm at his house. Drove out here to Stockton. Um, so like I was saying, didn't have power. Turned out to be, we re retraced all the wires. Turned out to be a blown fuse, which, you know, to some people that's really simple to immediately know, but I was trying everything, different wires, and I was freaking out because uh, I put that unit, my HDS Live, up here, and I got power. So I was like, oh, man, I'm going to have to rewire this whole damn boat. And it was just, I was freaking out. But we're going to try to run these wires through here right now, get it all cleaned up, make sure that everything works, and that's going to be that. Next time I'll probably see you guys is testing it out on the water. I don't know if I'll end this video with just... Um, just like the installa installation process um, and then eventually obviously I'll go fishing and uh, kind of show you guys how it's looking how it's working but until then guys stay real let's wrap this up Woo! all right guys man it is so hot I could literally like literally dripping in sweat but we're done we got it going. I'm gonna just run through everything really quick for you guys to show you like kind of, you know, how I did it. Well, how we did it, I should say now, because without my brother, I would still be pulling my hair out. So, first thing, went in, put the trolling motor, um, the transducer on the trolling motor shaft. Make sure you have those loops, right? You want loops for when it spins. I used electrical tape here. Um, ran it all the way up, gave it a big loop right here, put a little bit more and then I actually zip tied right here just because I want these to still move a little bit. I don't want it so tight, tight, tight on there. Why did I say tight like that? I mean times, but anyways, ran the wires through here what? underneath. What? And store in our box right here. Okay, so that's what I freaked out about the first time because that one flashing red and green. Didn't read the instructions, and then that one was just flashing, uh, you know, green right there. Didn't read the instructions all the way. That's why you should always do that first, right? Uh, so if you are experiencing that too, the green to red on the power is okay, and the Ethernet uh, port flashing green like that, it means you got a good connection. So um, went through some blown fuses. I actually, since I'm running so much right here, right? So I got the Ghost, got my HDS live, got everything hooked up right here. The active target transducer came with a five, um, a five watt, five amp, whatever, a five um, fuse. Blew that one. Even on the in the manual, it says three. Um, that's just because you're talking literally about it in itself. So if you're running more units and more things up here, I jumped mine up to ten. So I got ten underneath the console, and then I got a five right here uh, up front. So. I know you guys can't see much, 
but uh, you can't really see anything. We're active. It's on auto right now, but we are, uh, we got it going, guys. I went down. So you're not gonna get much just because it's uh basically in scout right now so uh that's it guys we did it real tv yo what's up come here come up here jump up say what's up to everybody What's your name? Michael. Michael what? White the Fourth. The Fourth. You ready to go fishing with your uncle? Yeah, we're going to get out there. So, got everything good, hooked up, guys. I will catch you on the water. We're going to put this thing to use. Um, it's about 103 degrees right now, so I'm sweating bullets. But, hope this video wasn't too long. Hopefully, if you are trying to install um, the Active Target, Hopefully this gave you some good tips uh, because I know it's a little bit of different boat. You know, most of the boats that I, um, most of the boats that I seen on videos that were doing it, it was like nitros, you know, rangers, boats that have the rod locker and all that stuff right there, fuse box right there, all that good stuff ready to go. Uh, my boat's not that that simple, right? So we had to do some tricks, figure some things. You can't see yourself into if you're on the, you can't see yourself on this side. Um, but Keep that's it, guys. Myself. Yeah. What do you want to say? Hi, bye. <laughs> hey, stay real, guys. Real TV. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, I can try to help. Or I'll hit up my brother, and he can help too. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be on the water soon. Stay real.